We'll now move on to physics, and units 8 to 11 cover the material you need to revise for the higher tier paper. Colour, forces in motion, electromagnets and conservation of energy. We'll kick off with colour. First, we'll look at the dispersal of white light and coloured filters. To recap, we know that white light is not just a single colour, but it's made up of all the colours of the rainbow. If we use a prism and shine a light through it, we can see those different colours. The glass prism disperses the white light, and the proper name for this rainbow effect is a spectrum. And this is why the sky is blue and a sunset is orange. I think we need to take a closer look. Well, I understand about the sun producing light and the sea being quite thick. What's that to do with colour? Let me, let me show you. I've filled this tank with water and I'm going to put this milk powder in it uh, and this will represent our atmosphere. It's actually quite a good representation of the atmosphere because the milk powder represents all the water droplets, all the dust, all the pollen and all the other particles uh, in the atmosphere. And this is our sun producing nice white light, just like it does in space. Uh, the sunlight in space is white. Now, if I lower the sunlight into our atmosphere, you'll see what happens. Oh, yes. Well, the light around the beam appears to be blue. Right. And if I look round into the end of the tank, well, the sun's light, it looks yellow. Well, yes, that's because, as you know, white light is made up of all the colours in our spectrum. Now, all these colours get pushed about by our atmosphere, and it just so happens that the blue light is the one that's scattered most of all. And so when you shine a white light into the atmosphere, all the blue light is scattered all over the place, all over the sky, in fact. And, of course, when you take the blue colours away uh, from the sunlight, you're left with a yellowish looking mixture and that's why the sun looks yellow. Now you don't need to revise this last clip for your test but you do need to know that we can see colour because white light is dispersed. So the different colours we see in the sky are due to how much white light is dispersed through the atmosphere. Another way to see coloured light is through coloured filters. Coloured filters are translucent materials which allow a single colour to pass through and that colour is the colour of the filter. If I put in a red filter, only red passes through. The rest of the colours are stopped, absorbed. Green filter, only green passes through. Again, the other colours are absorbed. By using these two coloured filters, this studio is lit by blue and magenta light. Remember, the filter only allows one colour through and absorbs all the other colours. Without them, we would just have white light. So we can see colours because of the dispersion of white light, which gives us a spectrum, the colours of the rainbow. And the colour of a filter determines the colour of the light that passes through it. Next, objects in white and coloured light. We can only see anything because light falls on its surface. What happens when light reaches this? It's stopped or absorbed. With this glass, it's allowed through. And with this mirror ball, it's reflected back. White light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow, but I'm just going to use the primary colours, blue, green and red, to make it easier for you to see what's going on. If we shine our white light on different coloured objects, look what happens. A red object absorbs all the colours of the spectrum except for red, which is reflected. We can show this if I turn the cube to this special side. It's a similar story with this green side. All the colours are absorbed, except green. Coloured objects reflect only the colour or colours that they're made up of. For instance, 
This blue ball reflects blue light and absorbs all the other colours, so it appears blue. These white pieces of paper reflect all colours, so they appear white. And a black object, like this top hat, absorbs all colours and reflects none back, and so it appears black. Remember, in white light, a coloured object reflects only the light that's its own colour. But what's going on here? Stella, we've got another problem for you. Why do our T-shirts keep changing colour? My white one changes with whatever colour signs on it. It looks red under red light, green under green light, and blue under blue light. My red shirt goes black under green light. And my cyan shirt goes green under green light, blue under blue light, but black under red. What's going on, Stella? First of all, white in coloured light. Now, they're easy. They just reflect back the colour of the light shining on them. So, in red light, this piece of paper appears red. In blue light, the white paper appears blue, reflecting back the blue light, and so on. Now, let's look at coloured objects, this time in coloured lights. Let's take this blue and red ball. In red light, the red pattern reflects back red light, but the blue patches look black as there is no blue light to reflect back and the red light has been absorbed. And the opposite happens in blue light. Now the blue pattern looks blue, but the red patches look black as there is no red light to reflect and the red areas have absorbed all the blue light. The colour of an object is the colour light it reflects. White objects reflect all of the colours and absorb none, and black objects absorb all colours and reflect none. And all objects, white or coloured, seem to change colour in coloured light, reflecting back their own colour and absorbing all other colours. Here's a question from a past test paper. A white envelope of photographic paper has written on it in large red letters, WARNING, open only by the light of a red safe light. If this envelope is put into a photographic darkroom where the only light is from a red lamp, what colour does the white envelope appear and what colour will the red writing appear? So the answer you should have come up with is that the white envelope red and the red writing will appear red. The white envelope, being white, reflects all the colours of the spectrum, but as only red light is available, the white only reflects back the red light. And now, if we were to switch the red light off and turn a green lamp on, what colour will the white envelope and the red writing be now and explain why? What did you get? Well, the envelope will now appear green and the red writing will appear black. That's because this time the white envelope reflects the green light, so it appears green. And the red writing now appears black as it has no red light to reflect and it absorbs the green light. This brings us to the end of this section on colour. Remember, there are more practice questions in our Key Stage 3 revision book and on our website. Time to take a break.